In this video, we will learn how to lazy load images with the Fetch Web API, like this one, guys. All right, we're gonna click a button and then load an image. <laughs> Looks simple enough, but instead of using just the image source uh, HTML, just which loads every time, we will actually programmatically learn how to do that. With that said, let's just jump into it. What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we discuss software engineering by example. Let's just jump into the video. So, guys, we'll, in order to do that, we'll need at least uh, a Visual Studio Code. Basically, we're going to write HTML and some JavaScript in, and we will also need a web server. I'm going to reference the video how to spin up a quick web server using Node.js. Okay, any web server will do the trick, right? Let's just quickly create a folder and we're gonna call it fetch lazy, lazy fetch, right? Then we're gonna say open. Then quickly we're gonna create an index.html file, right? Which will have basically boilerplate HTML5, okay? So simple uh, HTML5 code. And then uh, let's just uh, get an image, all right? We just got copied the image. We're gonna call it test.png, right? And then the, the classic way of doing things is we will essentially have an image source equal test.png and that will be that will be it, right? So you'll have a image content referencing the image and that will immediately load the page. Okay, so let's spin up a quickly a web server, test this thing up, http server dot. Again, I'm gonna reference the stuff on how do did we do that. Uh, listening on 8081, so we're gonna go to http localhost 8081, and then just like that, we immediately load the image. This is what, not what we want though. Uh, we're gonna use the Fetch API to do to populate that. So we're gonna remove that, and instead we're gonna give it an ID, and let's call it image, right? And then we obviously we need a button, right? Button load, okay, load image, maybe, and then obviously you'll need some code. We didn't do some script here, and then the script will be const button load equal document dot get element by id button load. This is just to add an event listener on this thing. Okay, and the event listener will be a click, right? When I do a click, I want the click to call this function, which will be the Fitch API. Again, guys, we, I'm going to reference the video that we did on the general Fitch API here, but uh, generally it's just a simple function. I'm going to use an async function here just, just to make it easier to understand. And then to do that, we will basically create a const variable here with the result that will be as a result of Fitch, Fitching localhost as 8081 and that image is called test.png right i'm gonna fetch that image this will be the pre-rendered result right but in order to get the blob result we need to call blob on top of that okay obviously since we're using async await instead of promises we have to prevent this with await okay and then just like that we got the blob right the final piece is we, we need a reference to the image, right? Which is empty in this case, right? So I'm gonna do an image document dot get element by ID image. Okay, and then if I get the image here, I'm gonna do image dot source equal, not blob, that won't work. We will use the URL dot create object URL, which will create, which will download and load that into an in memory, in the browser memory, essentially, the blob object. Okay, and that will create like a local storage where which you can use over and over again. You can also use to release that. Okay, and I think we're good. And let's just for fun, let's just add an alert saying, "Hey, the size of your image is." Da -da -da. We can do that. I think. Oh, sorry. Use to text. You have to use text. Blob dot size. I think. Right, let's test our code, guys. So if I refresh this puppy and I click load, I just got the image, 
and then this obviously waiting in the background and we got our image back guys and if you if you notice the inspect this result you will notice that this weird url which is like essentially how chrome deals with this okay it's just like storing it locally and then whenever you whenever the page unloads just discards that so this is how this was a quick video to show you guys how can you lazy load images on demand right when you click a button or you maybe when you scroll or do anything so it's a very big simple piece of code right i'm gonna reference it uh, the github repo to so you can uh, check out the code and then with that said uh i'm gonna see you in the next one consider subscribing to this channel give this video a like if you like it and um uh, we're going to see you on the next one. Check out the other content in this channel. We discuss software engineering, web standards, HTTP, proxies, and anything related to software engineering that particularly interests me. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Love you so much. Uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye.